We're down at Layden's Country School in Belvedere, North Carolina. Looking for Tom Thumb. There's Elizabeth on the porch. Cheese and eggs and cheese biscuits in the morning. Thank you. Delicious. Okay. Um, Try right, some. And, and what's your name? Charlie. Charlie. My father's the one who owns it. Uh, my grandfather's the one who started it back in 1948. Uh -huh. So my, my dad took it over in the 80s. I'll be third generation to keep it going. Still do everything the old fashioned way. It's a beautiful place. Nothing, nothing's pre cut until you ask for it. We still smoke here all our own meat, make all our sausage fresh every day. It keeps us plenty busy. Well, there's no place quite like it. There's not many of us little stores like this around anymore. A lot of places like this have closed up. Now that cheese, we get that shipped to us in them wooden crates all the way from Wisconsin. And then we stack it up and we'll age it ourselves from mild, medium, uh, to short, like extra five. short. Uh, How much do you sell a week? Um, we we'll probably go through probably 10, 12 che whole cheeses a week. So three or four a day. So, and they, they run about 20, 22 pound wheels. How many hogs y'all butcher? Uh, uh, well, we, we don't actually do our own butchering anymore. We used to. Um, and we used to do about 200 hogs a week. But uh, we've got out of the actual slaughter part and focused more on the sure. curing and the smoking. Uh, so still using the same old smokehouse since the uh, 1940s, or 1950s. So if you want, I can take you out there and let you see it, the smokehouse. Yeah. Yeah, come on through. Great. We'll walk out there with the money. Can you should come on with you. Grandparents actually used to live right here at this old big house here. That's where my dad and all his brothers and sisters grew up.
built this smokehouse back here in the, I think they said they built it in 47. And they opened up the business in 48. Still in there. Oh yeah. You see all the sides, everything's still hanging. Look at that. A lot of people do, do now what they call cold smoke. Like a lot of these big companies, it's not really a smoke. It's more like liquid smoke for flavor, and not true like oak hickory smoking. You got that big pot. Yeah, that's uh. We used to have the pit, but we've had so much rain this year that the pit kept filling up with water, so we had to put a pot on top right now. But most of the time, we're, we're in that pit smoking. What do you use? What type of wood do you use? Mostly hardwoods, oak, hickory. Uh, really, we like to get a hold of persimmon if we can. There's not a lot of persimmon trees around no more. Right. So every now and then, somebody will cut down a pecan tree or something. We'll use some of that. That helps put good color on it. So. Well, that's great. Yep, so we still do it the, the old way. Yeah, this is uh, certainly dying out. Yeah, not, not, not a lot of people do it anymore. And there's just so much work involved in it. Right. Because to take a fresh ham from fresh to smoke takes about three or four months. Right. About eight weeks of salt, a week of drying, and then a week of smoking. So you're looking at right at ten weeks. So it, it takes a while. What about your sausage? How long is that? Now we make that fresh every day. Uh, mm -hmm. Probably about two, three hundred pounds a day we'll make fresh. Um, and that's we use the old plantation seasoning. Mm -hmm. um, still use a lot of extra sage put in it, a little bit of red pepper. So, but yet we still use the 80-20 trimming. So, and that's made all day long. So. But you have a dry smoked sausage. Yeah, we have a dry smoke. We actually make um, 11 different sausages. Okay. Um, we have our regular mild and hot. Um, and then we have our, our hot and dry, which is an air dry sausage. Then the um, the smoked sausage, which I gave you. And then we have um, an apple sausage, which is made with um, Granny Smith apples, apple pie spice, brown sugar. And then when we mix it, we mix it with apple cider right before we stuff it. Mm. And it's a really good, like sweet. It's really big in the holiday time when people are doing stuffing and stuff like that. That's really big then. Uh, we do an all beef sausage, an all turkey sausage. Um, an Italian sausage, and then those who are brave enough, we do a ghost pepper and cheese sausage. <laughs> and that's that's on a different that's level good. of heat. Right. So, but all of them sell real well. So, so well, plus we do the Dan Doodles as well. How long do you smoke those? Dan Doodles. Yeah. They usually get about five six hours of smoke. That's all it takes for them. Okay. And so, then they ferment, or um, you leave well, them. Well, when, when they're usually dry about two weeks uh -huh. before we smoke them let them cure out to where they start to create that hardness on the outside right. so when you smoke them you're not actually cooking them right so you're just putting in flavor okay but uh yeah so it takes usually about three weeks to get a dan doodle ready okay so or tom thumb like there's so many old names for all the old meat you get people call side meat bacon midland streak of lean streak of fat i mean everybody's got a different name for it right same thing with the dan doodles tom thumb hacky back yeah so pretty well, that's great. We we really appreciate you taking the time. Yeah, we are. 